Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you what the Actions feature lets you do in Photoshop. Um, if you don't have a tab here that already says Actions, what you can do is go to Window, um, hit Actions, and then just drag it in next to the other tab, and you'll see you have a new tab. Now, what are Actions? Um, well, what they let you do is perform um, a series of steps in one swift move. So these are a bunch of um, actions that you get pre-installed with Photoshop. Um, let's have a look at the CPO one. So if we uh, click this little triangle, we can see what steps um, are taken in this action. So first, it creates a snapshot, makes a layer, merges, whatever. It does all that. So what you can do is hit play on this particular action, and you'll see that we get a sepia image without um, doing a lot of steps. So it just does it in one shot. Um, something cool that you, can, that you should pay attention to is that if you have the image um, saved to your desktop or wherever, um, instead of hitting Control Z to go all the way back to what it was like before, you can hit File, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Revert. And then it just hits it back to what it was like before you did the action. Now, let's make our own action. So what I have here are two images uh, from the same set. So there are two pictures of the Alps covered in snow. Um, now, I want to edit both of these images, <coughs> both of these images, but I don't want to go through all the steps on both of them. So what we can do is, Let's, uh, let's make a new folder for our actions. Let's call it um, My Actions. And uh, we can make a new action using the little Create New Action button here. So let's do it. Action, um, custom action one. 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 OK, so hit record. And now you'll be recording everything you do and save it into that action. So let's, uh, let's, um, let's just edit this image uh, while it's recording. So let's, uh, I don't know, just get it off this background layer first of all. Get rid of that. Uh, let's uh, control J to copy the layer. Um, filter, uh, blur, surface blur. Uh, let's just, yeah, I don't know, mess with that a bit, I guess. That's all right. Uh, okay. Um, put that over to. Uh, um, I don't know. Soft light. Yeah, that looks all right. Uh, now we can mess with the colors. So hit control or no, let's just get, do it with curves. So uh, hit the little weird button and then curves. Uh, get some red up in there. I guess that looks alright. Okay, now we go to actions uh, and stop the recording. Okay, so now all those actions I did, just did were saved in this custom action one, which I had before, and you can see all the steps I took if you had the little triangle. So now I'm happy with this image, so let's go to the other image I wanted to edit as well. And we'll see this one still unedited. So, what we can do is just click custom action one, uh, hit play. Bada bing, bada boom. All done. So that's just a quick introduction to, uh, into actions. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.